Meeting a stranger in a private location can pose several dangers, which are important to consider. Ensuring personal safety, and here are the key. Here are some of the key risks that you would receive or you would get if you meet a stranger in a private place. So. My name is Wemimo and I'm also known as Tatmom5. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back. And for those of you who have been here from day one until now, you are the real G's. So today's video is to remind ourselves of the dangers of meeting in a private place. I have seen several social media posts of couples sharing how they made their other apps online and of how people got business contacts and affiliation. In as much as these stories seem beautiful with good endings, there are some that do not often end in good stories. So without wasting much of your time, let's dive into the topic at hand. So you all know what has been happening in regards to selling an Afibas case and Andrew Cheko. So hence why this video is coming out. So meeting a stranger in a private location can pose several dangers, which are important to consider. Ensuring personal safety. And here are the key, here are some of the key risks that you would receive or you would get if you meet a stranger in a private place. So First thing is physical harm. We all know what physical harm is. Like, you know, physical harm in terms of assault, violence. The stranger may have a harmful intention, such as physical assault or violence, which you would not be aware of because you're meeting a stranger. And there's a possibility of you being robbed as well. So there's a risk of being robbed, especially if the meeting involves transaction or exchanging items of values. I hope you guys are following me. These are things that you should hear, like you should be aware of. And other instances or risk you could face is sexual assault. So meeting in a secluded place or in a secluded area increases the risk of sexual assault or harassment. And women, most of us are the ones, like women are the ones who actually fall into this most of the time. So we have to be very, very careful. And the third risk that you you are prone to being open to is kidnapping and abduction. In the case of selling an afiba and goodie, well, allegedly goodly. So the stranger might attempt to abduct or kidnap you for various motives, including ransom or human trafficking. Yeah, human trafficking. We all know in Africa things like this happen. So women be very, very careful there. Number four is psychological trauma. So experiencing or witnessing a threatening situation can lead to long-term psychological trauma or stress disorder so there's proof there's evidence of, of this happening so you have to be very very careful that you don't find yourself in this risk so another risk that you could end up into you know when you meet stranger in a secular place is lack of immediate help as we all know <laughs> help in nigeria mm. so in a private location there are fewer opportunities to call for help or alert others if something goes wrong we all know that in some parts of the country or in the parts of the world security or immediate help cannot be assessed or trust to, you know, either arrive. So when I talk about um, places part of the world, Nigeria, for example, our polices are not policing and security is not security in Nigeria. So like ladies, guys, this is not only, op I mean, this advice is not mainly for women, but mainly to everybody, young, adult, old, regardless of who you are, you need to be careful because you are prone to all of these risks, okay? So other risk that you could you are prone to is private invasion so private invasion if you invite a stranger to a private location like your home they may invade your privacy in a way steal personal information or even stalk you in the future we all heard of the um baby reindeer you know of that stalker mm -hmm. yeah that's even happening in the uk talk less of somewhere else so we have to be very very careful when we are meeting people in you know especially strangers regardless of how long you've known them you have to at least if you're going to meet them physically for the first time make sure you are meeting them in an open place so we are still talking about the risk okay so other risk you could be prone to is fraud or scam. So strangers might use the opportunity to scam or defraud you, especially in the context of business deals or online transactions. So we've seen a few of that happening online as well. So guys, be very, very careful when you meet people, especially strangers. Other implications could be legal implications as well. So engaging in certain activities with strangers in private locations might lead to legal issues such as being implicated in illegal activities. Trust me, these things happen. You don't want to find yourself meeting someone obviously you're genuine but that stranger you are meeting how well do you know them how well do you know them that whatever it is that 
they are committing to is straightforward and not mm, you know yeah so other implications are or other risk that you should avoid is avoid meeting in dark areas like dark areas dark places if it is not in an open place do not meet that stranger because like i said you don't know their intentions for you you don't know what they have in mind and like um, don't get me wrong it is not everybody or every stranger that you meet might have bad intentions but how do you know if they have bad intentions for you or not so yeah to mitigate this risk to mitigate the chances of you falling into any of these risks i want you to consider the following precautions so get your pen and your paper and let's talk about it so guys if this risk or if this topic is making sense to you this is the time for you to like my video drop a comment in the comment section subscribe if you've not yet done so and are you enjoying this advice are you if you are okay grab your pen and let's go so number one precautions is meet in public places always choose a well lit open public places for initial meetings regardless of how long you've been talking to that stranger regardless of how long you've been seeing them online or whatever meet in a public place never in a secluded area okay so that's number one precaution number two is inform someone let a friend or family member know where you're actually going this is very very important and this age now there's you know location drop google drop you can do that with your phone and you can even set up the location on your mobile like i miss it down here everywhere i go my location is always on on my mobile devices it's not as if i'm envisaging that something's going to happen to me or anything like that but make sure you tell someone where you are going who you are going to meet and the expected time of return yes the expected time of return that is time of return in terms of calculate how long it's going to take you to get there calculate how long it's going to take you back and how long it's end to spend or you plan to spend at at the place you're going to meet this person so another thing you should all, you could always do is always bring a friend along if possible bring a friend or meet in a group to reduce risk so it's very important it's not because you want this stranger to buy your friends meals but it's just to ensure you are safe always trust your instinct if you feel something feels off if your guts tell you leave this place oh girl oh guy pack your bag and leave don't even argue it don't doubt it okay also if you're meeting a stranger it is advisable that you verify their identity before you even meet them in the first place so if you are talking to them online or if you meet them somewhere online whatever ways or means you've met them ask them to send you a copy of their identity which you will also do so that you both assure each other that i am who i am and um, I made the person that I said I am. So if you're meeting for business purposes, verify the stranger's identity and credentials beforehand. And if you are meeting for, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, guys, girls, you can also ask for their identity. Yes, you can do that. It's not a crime if you ask for their identity. And also limit personal information, such as avoiding sharing too much personal information until you are sure of the stranger's intentions. And most of you will ask me, how am I going to be as how am I or how do I ascertain? the intentions of a stranger you know avoid sharing anything about it. your name that's all they know or what you do or the purpose of you meeting don't go beyond why you are meeting or what you might have discussed anything you have not discussed there's no point you know bringing such up when you're meeting you know a stranger so what else are we talking about again so it's also important to be very aware of the potential dangers and taking the appropriate precautions appropriate precautions regardless of where you're meeting that person regardless of who that person are or even if they are even if you are meeting them through mutual friends you still have to be very very cautious about meeting them you can actually significantly reduce the risk associated with meeting strangers in private location like hmm my people i am telling you because this case of afiba and Celine, it, it, it should teach a lot of us or a lot of young women out there a lot of young guys out there they need for you to be very careful and i just felt that being a parent myself being a mom of girls being a mom of boys i thought i'll bring out, out here that no these are the risks you could meet if you're meeting a stranger and also share with you the precautions you need to put into consideration when you are meeting such so if you find this video really helpful and if not yet subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for so don't forget to like drop a comment in the comment section subscribe if you have not yet done so if you find this advice helpful let me know in the comment section share turn on the post notification and i hope to catch up with you in my next video all right bye